Hi everyone, Elliot here, and in this very short video I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you'll be able to use Shiny for Python on your machine. The great news is, with the first way I'll show you, you don't need to install anything at all, and you can just use an online environment. As you can see on the screen here, I'm just in Chrome, or you can use any web browser, and visit shiny.rstudio.com forward slash pi, and you get this landing page. If you then click on examples, there's a whole load of different examples on the left hand side, but for the purpose of what I want to show you, um, you can stay on the basic app, and this is just like a IDE. You hit play, and then you get the code executed, and this is what the Shiny interface will look like. But for anyone who wants to use Shiny on their machine, we have here the same code, and this is in Visual Studio Code. There's just a couple of things you'll need to do first to get it working. And um, the first thing to note is you'll need to go into the marketplace or the extensions, which is this icon on the left. And then within there, just type in shiny and you're looking for an extension from Posit, which is the new name for our studio. They've rebranded themselves. Make sure this one is installed. Uh, and once that's installed, you'll then be able to get um, the web interface within Visual Studio Code. Two things to note though the file that you're working on must be called app.py. Once you've done that, when you hit the play button up on the top right, it will execute the code. We can see it's been executed with the terminal below. And then exactly the same as we saw in the web interface, we then have this slider. And as we adjust the value, it changes the text below. That's it. It's really that simple. The only thing I'll point out is to make sure if you're new to Visual Studio Code, your IT department has not locked down the ability to run Python scripts uh, as I saw with someone the other day. Because essentially, when you execute a Python script, it's going to the command prompt and then putting in Python and then the name of the Py file. So if that's been locked down, you won't get very far. So if you do want to run VS Code on your machine, please make sure you check this out ahead of the Py for Shiny Masterclass. That's all. Thank you very much and look forward to seeing you on the day.